Okay guys, we are back. Welcome back to our video. This one will be pretty uh, different and definitely a longer video and a, hopefully a better one as well. This will be covering the previous uh, RP game. The RP game just ended like a week ago or two maybe maximum. And we are soon starting a new one. But now I'm making this video to show uh, the Call of War community and my subscribers what we do with these RP games. May not be the best video I didn't record, uh, you know, every day, only every couple of days. Sometimes it took me weeks to record again and stuff. The game altogether uh, lasts like 40 days and it was very good actually. It was amazing. So I definitely recommend you guys watch this video at least for as long as possible. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so moving on, this is day 6 at this point, uh, there's been quite a lot of time that has passed, but I think at this point it's pretty critical to announce what's been happening. So I have expanded over here into the Baltics and today I actually got Bessarabia, transferred basically peacefully through a very short war that was basically not even a war. They just gave me right of way, I got my troops over here, I declared war and we signed peace, that's basically what happened. Turkey over here is uh, expanding and uh, seems like Italy isn't threatening them anymore. Neither is uh, Romania. Romania has also expanded quite a bit. As you can see, Yugoslavia has been split. There has been a short war between Romania and Turkey, but peace was signed soon after. Turkey also annexed Iraq, as you can see. China has completely won the war against Japan. They, they've done pretty well. As you can see, Mongolia has actually uh, won the war against Manchukuo. Manchukuo is still alive. Unfortunately, they've taken Vladivostok from me. So that hurts my economy a bit, which is very unfortunate. It's a bitch-ass move, but you know, too bad, I guess. We're gonna regain it pretty soon anyway, so yeah. So Mongolia has become pretty strong. They are also my puppet, so this is a good... um. Good development. China may go actually uh, annex some nations over here. I, I want them to unify China, but I guess we'll see what happens. Japan has actually uh, attacked Indonesia. I guess they will be annexing all of it. Very interesting. The US hasn't been doing much. That's not a surprise to be honest though. The UK has started annexing uh, Ireland. Also Spain for some reason uh, owns Dublin. Like the fuck. Well, you know, whatever. Also, a war has broken out between Germany and France, and France seems to be winning at this point. It is day 6, so it's pretty late, not too much of a surprise. But we'll still see what happens. I could definitely take advantage of the war. Also, Romania has expanded quite a bit, as you can see. Annex Hungary as well as, as, well as uh, like half of Yugoslavia, so that's pretty good. Some interesting stuff that has happened, as you can see. Brazil over here actually, yeah. As you can see, annex Uruguay, Paraguay, and now Argentina as well. They also annexed Argentina in one day, which is just insane. Moving on, it is day 10. At this point, uh, tensions in Europe are escalating because Germany has become a, a French puppet, basically, or more of an ally, but they, you know, it's kind of between. Italy is also kind of their puppet, so. They are very strong, but they don't know what is coming. We have a lot of plans to do a lot of stuff, you could say. It doesn't matter right now. I will probably explain it next clip. As you can see, well, Spain has taken almost uh, all of the Italian uh, African colonies. That's unfortunate. Xinjiang actually attacked me, but I am defending pretty well. Mongolia also annexed Tanatua, as you can see. Brazil is annexing everything with Argentina gone, Chile now and Bolivia is about to be fully annexed as well. In North America there isn't much happening though. The UK now owns all of uh, Ireland, which is interesting. And if I haven't uh, mentioned it last uh, clip, Switzerland is now Polish. Poland also just now declared their independence. Also Nationalist China has given Qingdao a port or more of a city to Brazil because they helped in the Sino-Japanese war with resources. 
China will also now uh, go ahead and annex Xinjiang. Japan is uh, advancing over here, annexing almost all of Indonesia at this point. Persia is also trying to annex Afghanistan. They are winning, but they are losing some land at the same time. But the world is mostly just chilling for now, waiting for the upcoming conflict between the West and the Prolia, the USSR. Moving on, at this point it is day 13, and at this point the war between me and Germany has begun. And as you can see, <laughs> the UK has betrayed uh, France. We have made plans for that, as you can uh, probably tell. I am letting them push into me because, uh, well, I have defenses over here and I have a lot of fucking troops. I have taken quite a lot of casualties, but so have they, so this is pretty good for now. We should win the war since Paris is uh, basically falling uh, right now. Well, Paris, France is falling, Paris has fallen, and France, probably all France is gonna fall relatively soon, so that is good. Germany is basically all alone over here on this front, so I should definitely be able to crush them very very soon. But for now I'll keep playing defensive. I have gathered around 300 units at this point. I had more than this, I had 308. But I lost like 20 units at this point, if not more. That is not a problem though, if you think it is. It certainly isn't. Definitely not to me. I have a lot of units and those units that were over here were complete garbage. So right now we are just chilling. We also have a huge air force, I lost a lot of my tactical bombers at this point, but I still have quite a lot of them, but they are very damaged. Anyway, we should have done a pretty decent amount of damage with them. Probably not too much though. We'll see how this war goes, but I don't think they will get past the Stalin line. Anyway, moving on from uh, my strategies, Persia has gone inactive, which is just fucking unbearable, unacceptable in all ways. They will be punished for going AFK, possibly even banned from not only future... Uh, well, I'm not gonna ban them from the server and uh, from all games, maybe, uh, but I will ban them from at least a couple because of that. Also, I'm at war with Afghanistan, they, and they... Well, Persia is kind of losing that, so <laughs> yeah, maybe that's why they, they left. Maybe they just forgot about it though. India has gone inactive as well, very unfortunate, they will be punished, no exceptions. The Ottoman Empire is doing pretty well, as you can see, annex Saudi Arabia is doing pretty well. We, they will probably join on our side against France to take Syria, which is gonna be very, very good. Africa has gone to shit, with uh, the UK losing uh, like half of their colonies over here to Egypt, which is very interesting. Also, it seems like Egypt is at war with Spain as well. The Ottoman Empire is two and they should be able to take Egypt relatively easily. Brazil or the South American Federation has annexed a lot of countries and at this point they are very thick. As a matter of fact they have more points than me which is very interesting although most of that is not cored while for me most of my and dark points are cored. So that will be a massive difference. They also been building up their economy extremely quickly making huge investments pretty close to my economy. Although, when this war ends, I will focus fully on economy and there is no way they will be able to compete with me at that point. Because I have been militarizing a fuck ton. Germany has about 100, uh, 100 units on my front, I'd say, that are focusing on uh, fucking me, but they are, well, they're gonna do well for a bit. I still have a lot of units over here, which I'm not really using. They will be moved up to here when this front is secure, since it seems like France isn't going to attack me. So that is very well. At that point, Germany should be fucked and I will be probably able to blitzkrieg them without a problem. So he has fully annexed Finland, uh, almost broke a no aggression pact uh, with me. Which, you know, is very interesting, but, you know, thankfully I saved them from their doom. The UK is taking the Magellan line, which they will defend from when they do take it. Spain has annexed all of Italy, almost forgot to mention that very quickly. Some very interesting shit. Spain is pretty strong right now, but, you know, who gives a fuck, to be honest. China also annexed all of Xinjiang after I was at war with them, and they joined the war. I regained my core provinces without, without a problem, and they took all of their cores, so that's pretty good. The US is uh, not doing much as always, but you know, they are researching nukes as a matter of fact, so that is good as always. So it has been a pretty long while since I recorded. I recorded, uh, well, it's been a while since I recorded, but the last one I did actually got, uh, well, I deleted it by accident or something happened, so there I said that we are going to push since the war, as you can see we occupy all of Germany. So yeah. Well, 
to break it down we just push the fuck out of Germany through Poland you can still see the forts over here that they had to protect uh, you know the last stand if you will uh, we push them out easily they agreed to uh, not surrender <laughs> uh, they, they agreed to give up the war and remain an independent state over here in the Rhineland uh, for a price and it definitely costed the, the their allies quite a lot so yeah anyway there's been a lot more stuff going on I've been trying to bring back Poland uh, not working too well it's definitely gonna take time they're gonna need some troops to actually take all of their land back we have just uh, declared war on Sweden though actually if you look here it is day 21 uh, we have declared war on Sweden because they declared war on our puppet which is Poland. They land a lot of troops here, you should be able to fuck them relatively easily. Also we've already taken a large part of their navy out, which is very good. Over here we're doing pretty well, we have destroyed like 10 units that were over here, maybe 6, maybe a little less, uh, not sure about that, no 100%. We're also sending a lot of troops over here and we should be able to take all of Finland and that's our, that's our goal for the war to gain all of Finland and Sweden to you know pay reparations kind of also they wouldn't be able to militarize the Baltic uh, Sea I guess I don't know if I should call it the Baltic Sea because it's kind of just this area I want to go from a uh, this from Finland to uh, here to Latvia. This can be militarized by them. Also, I want war reparations, which is like 500,000 uh, money probably or something like that, which would be pretty nice. So, I mean, we should definitely win the war for now. We are winning pretty well. And a lot of their navy is already gone, so that's pretty nice. Shouldn't be a hard war. I think we will win this relatively easily. And if they don't agree to everything, they will probably become our puppet. And if that doesn't happen, we will just fully annex them. So, yeah. Anyway, Turkey over here has been expanding a nice bit. I've annexed a little bit more of uh, Persia and a little bit of Afghanistan. They have taken the rest, though. They have become pretty strong right now. And, yeah... We may look to interfere there sometimes, sometime soon. Japan has expanded to, well, you know, like, they're pretty huge right now. They have the most points, I believe, that doesn't matter really. Uh, they're not such a big economy, that it's just, you know, colonies and bullshit, so yeah. Brazil is also pretty strong, and, uh, you know, actually it has some kind of economy, so not bad at all. France uh, is gonna lose Italy now, they... Uh, attacked Spain and split Spain with Brazil as you can see but now they will lose it, uh, Italy will get it back as a part of the treaty when we signed peace China doesn't seem to be doing much uh, they got some units and stuff but you know not too much done there that's for sure Africa is just a mess as you can see I don't even wanna look there Mexico, Japan, your mom, everybody's there the UK has also annexed the Benelux also fully annexed Ireland and uh, Greenland and uh, Iceland. Mongolia has been building economy it seems and doing pretty well actually. Uh, got a somewhat decent navy as well, so yeah. US is still basically sleeping. To be honest, I don't know man. We may also look to intervene in Japan. Depends, I'd ask for South uh, Sakhalin and also Korea if they don't do that. Well baby, I'm getting the nukes in two days, so <laughs> yeah boy, let's go. That's gonna happen soon. We could build some, uh, yeah, we are already are building secret labs over here in Vladivostok. As you can see, we've also built this Trans-Siberian Railway going all the way through Siberia into Moscow. We've also air support, I guess, which is nice. So this is how uh, big we are currently. I'm looking to, of course, take Finland, and if we attack Turkey, I take all of Afghanistan, the rest of Persia, Iraq, and also the southern part of and the mountainous part of Turkey, so that would make us pretty thick. Also, Romania is a possible puppet soon, so yeah. Anyway, other than that, there hasn't been too much stuff, I guess. So, uh, yeah. So it has been a while since I last recorded this game. A decent amount has happened, although not too much. Uh, things have shifted around, we were supposed to, meant to ha we were meant to have a war uh, to end all wars between uh, France, UK, Turkey on one side and then me with Romania and Mongolia on the other side. That didn't work out well since France gave up the idea a little bit later. So then we had peace for a couple of days. And then uh, it turns out uh, for a couple of days I was building up mostly industry and stuff just chilling. And uh, well I heard that uh, the UK, Turkey, France, Japan and Mexico 
wanted to annex me, to fucking uh, gangbang me. All five of them. Uh, I, he I heard this from France, uh, who turned uh, against their allies uh, towards me for an alliance uh, because they already hated the UK, and that would have been another backstab from the UK, which France really didn't like since you know what happened uh, a bit ago, uh, you know, with France and the UK. So France decided to turn uh, against them, while giving me information about the war, giving me time to prepare, and I have been able to prepare enough to get defensive positions, as well as many other things. Today, uh, not too long ago, I think it's been like 6 or 7 hours, the war has started, and as you can see we've been fighting for quite a bit, uh, there has been a fuck ton of casualties, already hundreds of thousands of people, so we have very fucking dangerous war. Romania is losing some land, but Turkey already lost a huge army and we are slowly winning here in Persia. Japan also probably isn't gonna join the war, I already have like 200 units on their front, so if they're not we can just pull those off, but I'm not gonna do it, at least not yet, and at least if they're not needed. If they did, I would've nuked. Uh, Hiroshima, Nagasaki, as well as Tokyo with my nuclear rockets and hopefully uh, taken them out of the war because they would probably sue for peace after that. If not, I got nuclear uh, bombers here as well which could drop nukes on their troops which would give me uh, e an easy way to just rush through Korea and make them force for peace. Anyway, for now we are handling the war pretty well. I'd say uh, most of the UK's army has been taken out by now, or is going to be taken out. Also, we are slowly taking the Benlux. The Battle of the Seas has been a pretty big one. I have had a pretty huge and good quality navy for a few days now, been building it up really quickly, with the help of uh, the Baltics as well as Sweden and Finland, which can really make a huge fucking navy. And right now we are fighting still, uh, but most of the UK's navy is either very damaged or gone. And I still have most of my ships. So that is very good. Seems like we're going to win that pretty easily. We also won a naval battle here in the Black Sea. It was a pretty big one, but we won. And now uh, we can easily bomb uh, some cities here in Turkey. Which will lower their production and many other things, of course. Okay, so we are ending the game like this. Uh, the war went in our favor and Turkey fell a few days after uh, the last part, uh, this is, you know, most countries are inactive already. So we have ended the game like a few days ago, like two, almost three days ago, the game has officially ended. I already went inactive, just went back to show everything what happened. Romania got all of the Balkans and I got all of this, we were meant to sign peace. But the game ended right there. I was gonna get this uh, northern part as well as uh, Istanbul and this uh, back part. So yeah, I mean that's where we ended. Owning all of Persia as well as Iraq, a bunch of Turkey and a lot more stuff. So yeah, I mean uh, this is where we ended. Been a very fucking good game. Uh, extremely good actually. Very fun, I conquered uh, all of Europe basically. All of Europe is basically under my control and a bit of Asia is either, most of Asia is either allied to me or basically under my control. So game's definitely been very very fun, can't deny that at all. But anyway, this is where we end the game. By the way, my army size was like 840 before the war happened and I lost like 40 units only. So yeah, Soviet power. And that's the end of this game. Anyway guys, that is the end of the whole RP game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you wanna play a, a game with me, our RP game, uh, with me and some other people from the Discord server, then go ahead and uh, join the Discord server and apply to play it. But there's only a few slots left be before we start the new one, which will happen, well, which will start tomorrow. And, you know, you, you gotta do it real quick, you know? And there's not many spots left, there's like five countries left. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna end right here, the whole video. Hopefully it's gonna be good, hopefully it's gonna be one of the better ones, and yeah. So, uh, thanks so much for watching, and good bye!